welcome back to Jump Seat Radio. And I've got to do something that I've never done on the podcast before is I've got an intro to this week's guest. And I'm telling you, this man right here, if you're pulling, if you're driving right now, you might want to pull the freak over. If you're on the treadmill, you better crank the speed down because there is going to be nothing but a bunch of laughter. And this, uh, all right, I got to play the intro. Shh, don't, don't say nothing yet, guest. So listen to this. This is my favorite one that you have. Freaking ambulance. That's one. What more stupid EMS hey, call? What? Drop the ambulance. Get on the suppression. <laughs> this is so me. This is so me. <laughs> all right all right jason i gotta quit playing that because i'm telling you you're gonna tear me up laughing so hard on the podcast is my man jason Patton from the fire department chronicles what's up jason what's going on what's going on buddy how are you man oh thank you so much for coming on the podcast let's give the the jump seat nation an intro who you are where you're from and how the freak did you get this funny <laughs> <laughs> um i'm uh jason Patton. i'm fire department chronicles um I, uh, I'm from South Florida, and I, I think I've always been funny, uh, funny-ish at least. The funny part is that I have two brothers, and one of my brothers is twice as funny as I am. And, oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, he's just a little more reserved. Uh, <laughs> I'm just an idiot. That's pretty much what it comes down to. But the thing about it is, is Jason, I think that out of all the people that kind of do what you do, you do it better, better than they do because you capture what it's like. And, and, and I want to start, like, with that how did you come up with I mean I, I could imagine you always being the funny guy around the fire station but where did you come up with these ideas to share with the rest of the world you know we, we always the uh, the firehouse humor is always there and uh, we started making these little videos here and there and it and it started off with the National Geographic's Fire Department Edition. That's that's where the accent comes from, in case anyone's wondering. Uh, it's fake if you're now figuring that out. Uh, so, <laughs> um, but we just we wanted to make some funny videos because we I love like firehouse humor is hysterical to me. It is so funny, and it does not matter. I do a lot of traveling, but um, it doesn't matter where you go. It's always the same. It, it is. is always the same, no matter where you go. Uh, I mean, no matter who, you, uh, firefighters all eat the same, uh, you know, we're, we're all uh, just one shade short of crazy, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> like it, it's all the same no matter what. Um, and, and so we started making these little tiny videos and, and uh, people were watching them, but the one that really blew up was um, the paramedic bitching video. Uh, <laughs> I just watched it again. And uh, I mean, it's like you could not have captured us. I know that you're a paramedic, paramedic as well. So yeah. we're both paramedics. So we've been on both sides of that bitching. But man, that yeah. one, did it go viral? Yeah, for at the time it did. It went viral. I got, it was 100,000 views in eight hours, which was huge. Like I'd never experienced anything like that before. I was freaking out. And um, it was just a cool experience. But it, it's, again, I always say that the only reason this is successful is exactly what you said. We relate to all this. Like oh, everybody <laughs> relate that, like that opening clip, there is nothing better in the world when they're like, Hey, you're off, you're off the uh, ambulance, get on the suppression. You're like, Oh my God. <laughs> they're paying me for this. Just <laughs> 100% man. It's, it's, and I, that's thankfully people found it funny and I'm able to keep going with it. So it's nice. It's good. It, it's funny how that ball gets rolling. I, I mean, I know that when I started with jump seat radio, and one, one of the questions I want to ask you is I know that there's a lot of young and primarily my listeners are the young firefighters. Number one, I think they should look to you because you share the positive, the one with the paramedic with the blood on his face. I almost just laughed until I peed myself. <laughs> But I mean, you made it positive. There was no negativity in there. There was no, I mean, you took a situation that would be like, oh my God, I just got hep C <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> but you yeah. had a positive experience. And I mean, it's almost like a decompression for people, right? And that's the biggest thing that I got, get from people is that, uh, you know, because firemen are the best when it comes to uh, compartmentalizing. Right things and shoving it down um and then we're the best at assisting others with compartmentalizing you know <laughs> so we're really good at that we're experts uh so I, I that's the one thing i always try to portray you know i'll make jokes or make fun of people but i make fun of cops as much as i make fun of firefighters right I make fun of nurses because we, you you have to find positivity in all of this and and i think that's i think that's the one piece of advice i ever give people they want to do stuff like this do it 
but don't be the negative person. Right. You know, don't, right. don't, look, don't look for fame. I could have gotten probably tr- triple as famous as I am now or triple as many views if I had done stupid things. But right. why? Like, I mean, we, we want people, that's what we should be doing. We should be making fun of each other, having a good time, but not like being ridiculous or doing super stupid stuff. Like that's, that's where people will find. I don't know. Your, your exercise video might, might border on the stupid, but I'm telling you, <laughs> it's so freaking funny. <laughs> I appreciate it. I mean, does this stuff just, I mean, I know that it's to, to me being live in the firehouse life and just like you traveling around the world, it's mm. blindingly obvious where you come up with the stuff, but is some of this stuff like when you're going through your shift, you're like, Oh, all yeah, right. That's it. Wait till I'm off. We're getting cameras out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually the bike one, my, uh, my battalion chief came up to me. It was, uh, like, I think it was about a month before Christmas and he brings this exercise bike in and he's like, Hey, <laughs> He like sits the box down and he's like, Hey, uh, I need you to put this together for me. I'm like, what? <laughs> put this together for you. Like I've been on this, I've been on 11 years. I'm like, go find a rookie to do it. He said, no, I want you to do it. And I'm like, bitch. <laughs> all right. So, so I put it together and when it's all said and done, I, I don't know. I think I, I know I'm insane, but I put it down. And the first thing that came to my head was that song, the maniac song. I was like, and I looked at the other guy that was with me. I was like, we're making a video. <laughs> it just ran around. That whole thing was filmed over a 20-minute period. Wow. Biking that fast for 20 minutes. So yeah, are you in that day, right? <laughs> if you look at the first scene versus the last scene, you can see the speed is completely different. Because I'm like, ah. Uh, Maybe that chief's not as dumb as we think he is. Maybe he's got an idea. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So why, why the accent when you started? I mean, I think that's what kind of drew me in. It was like, oh, wow, this is so freaking cool. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the accent originated from being National Geographic's Fire Department edition. Um, so I, I started it, and that's like, you know, with the paramedic video, you know, we're, we're hunting for as natural habitat and stuff like that. And um, but when we started doing that and, like, you know, we were hunting for the chief and then um, – <laughs> My favorite was the firefighter. Uh, I, I may have to re-release that one, but uh, we um, we we start doing that, and then um, it was doing well. People enjoyed it, and then I got a cease and desist letter from National Geographic. Did you really? Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, like I have the letter. I'm gonna frame it. Dude, <laughs> that is like that's a win. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we, uh, I get this, this cease and desist letter from National Geographic. Wow. It was a generalized letter. It was right. you were infringing, um, you know, literally it said like burn everything that you have created. Burn uh, it. Burn, <laughs> get like, out of here. Yeah, oh yeah. If you destroy everything that you've made, uh, erase any videos that you've made. So I ended up uh, talking to like their, uh, their head lawyer or one of their lawyers, then their trademark lawyer. And it, when everything was set up, they were actually super cool about the whole thing. Because I explained mm-hmm. what it was. My, my symbol was different. My, uh, the spelling was actually different. So I was technically covered under parody law. Right, right, right. Um, and, they, and they knew, it, again, everything that you'll see on my site is PG-13. Everything. Right. Everything is uh, family friendly. And I kept it that way from the beginning. For People who wrote me, they're like, thank you so much because I can watch this with my kids. I don't have to worry right. about someone pulling out their scrotum in the middle of the pit in the video like <laughs> yeah, that would be good, yeah. <laughs> oh. it's it, it's so funny that that national geographic saw i mean i guess they saw the comparison and i mean that really to me that means you're really reaching out there mm-hmm. and i mean my, my advice to you is you better be careful what you wish for because i mean they may come back and, and want you for something which, I mean, is that something that you could ever have and would have? I mean, I saw you do a keynote speech, which was freaking phenomenal. Thank you. Did you ever think that this could snowball into something that I, I could see it just because of positivity? But when you start doing silly little videos, do you think it snowballed to where it's at? I never, never would have thought. You know, I've always, I've always, I didn't mind being in the limelight. I enjoyed right. it. But I always said if I was in the limelight, I always wanted it to be for the right reasons. Right. You know? So I never thought what the keynote speech was actually a bucket list thing. I've always wanted to be a keynote speech uh, speaker. That was nice. It, it's awesome. It was cool. Yeah. And because of that, I have two more keynote speeches now. Like Good uh, for you. speaking at the Georgia um, 
Georgia State uh, firefighter ball and then um, up in Illinois at one point in time. So it, it, it's a cool experience. And, um, yeah, I, I never thought it was going to get here. I never right. thought in a million years that it would get to this point, but I, I enjoy it so far. We'll see. I always laugh because I say uh, – because my chief came up to me at some point in time and he was like, Hey man, like you, you, this is fun. You, you know, right. you're doing a good job. He's like, he's like, uh, he's like, don't, don't put our, don't tell anybody where you work. Right. He's like, don't do anything stupid. Like right on top. He, uh, he actually said to me, he's like the, uh, bike riding thing on top of the bed. <laughs> uh, let's not that's do something not like that. <laughs> yeah. That's not okay. <laughs> and then he said, if this, uh, if this blows up and you get fired, you do this to yourself. I'm like, ah, that, that's right. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, and I understand governmental agencies and, and, and I know stuff like that. And see, I'm a big proponent and I walk that fine line, too, because, I mean, I want to highlight my department because, man, I'm dang, I'm proud of it. I yes. mean, I posted a video yesterday. It's so funny that I know that you posted some of the throwback uh, production uh -huh. guys. And one of my favorite ones was Rig Day. Yesterday yeah. was Rig Day. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm learning how to edit videos. So I just put together like a little clip. I was like, should I post this? Should I? You know what? highlighting the good mm -hmm. i mean yep i think that's yeah. that's what this is about i mean i know that the politicians and maybe the people who pay the taxes might see that as kind of clowning but you know what we've got to have some stress relief this is a high stress job i i, I gotta tell you and that's the big that's again one of the huge big reasons that i did this is because you gotta have stress relief i would much rather have a firefighter have a stress relief making a stupid video <laughs> you know that's not doing anything like uh, unsafe right i'd rather him do that because you and i have met those people that don't have a stress relief no. and they're not okay you know they're just no. walking time bombs and you're like yo you can laugh bro it's okay. Like it doesn't make you a weak person, you know? Uh, and I mean, we even have, we'll train and we'll have a good time training. And Oh, the host testing one was classic. <laughs> yes, that's true. Oh my goodness. But it's like, it, it, and I don't want to turn this too serious of an interview, but I really see what you do as a good outlet to start working towards the mental health problems that we have as firefighters. Yes. I mean, do you have people reach out to you and say, hey, hey, Jason, I, thanks to your video, I became happier or maybe even I turned away from suicide? I've actually, that, that's, again, was one of the big motivators. I mean, I, I've, I've saved all the messages because they mean a lot to me. But I mean, it was just message after message after message. Uh, the two biggest ones that always stuck out of my head was one of them was a guy who said he got injured, uh, blew his knee out, and he was out for eight months. And he said, watching the videos kept him positive because, you know. <laughs> Laying on a couch with a blown out knee is not fun. You know, so he's no. like, oh, I love, he's like, it just, it keeps, it reminds me of what it's like in the firehouse, you know, right. and it positive and gives me something to look forward to. And then another one, this guy wrote me, uh, he said that uh, he and his buddies went on a bad, or he and his crew went on a bad car accident. They get there, there's like two dead kids uh, and then one of the parents are dead. No. So, you, that's not okay. Like you don't see that and you go, oh, that, that, like I can live with this. Um, and they said they got back and they're all depressed and I've done a bunch of snaps and put up a new video and they said they put them up and by the time everything was done, they were laughing. They were, right. little, and, and, and you know what, it, when you get out of that hole and you're laughing a little bit, it's easy to like, ha ha laugh and go, man, that, that accident was not okay, bro. And, and yeah. then maybe that opens up the conversation, you know, and, and that's what it takes. Like just being okay with like laughing a little bit and then being okay with talking about what's going on around you. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, if you only knew how many times you're on our big screen TV in the fire station, <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, look what he did this week, boy. Freaking get, phenomenal. People snap me. Snap. I had one lady, she's like, and I swear, she's like, hey, I'm doing it. Uh, like, it was uh, an anti suicide uh, PTSD kind of thing. She's like, I want to open it up with one of your videos. You care? I'm like, nah, go for it, man. <laughs> Have a great time. <laughs> Knock yourself out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Have no. you had a bad reaction yet? Or is it something, do you have a filter system before you post it? If I ever think before I post something, right. this is not a, like, will this get me in trouble? Then I, then I don't post it, you know? Right. Um, I've had probably, I, I've probably had, you know, I don't know, 30,000 comments or something like that over the, over all the videos. Yeah. Like this, this, yeah. I mean, between, between like Instagram and Facebook and, right, and uh, right, right. YouTube and everything, probably about 30,000 comments. And, um, I've maybe had 10 bad comments, 15 comments, right? 
I, I am always shocked if someone can find something like wrong, you know, uh, there's, there was one video that I posted and, oh, it was, it was the video where the guy, so it was something that had nothing to do with like anyone being gay or any, and someone posted like an anti-gay thing. And I'm like, what are you, what are you, what are you right. doing? Um, and then, and then there's this, there's this, uh, there's these people, they're, I don't think they're firefighters. I think they're just people that want to, they create fake firefighter accounts. Right. And they go in there and try to troll. Oh, and, oh boy, I know about them. Yeah. So what I love to do to people like that on Facebook, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the hide. Um, <laughs> yep. Oh, comments. yeah. I love doing that because it not only hides their comment, but it makes it makes them feel bad because then they're like, no one's <laughs> commenting on my stuff. Like, no, they just don't see it. And you're a jerk. So <laughs> I really think that, Jason, I, I'm sure that you probably see it 10 times more than I do. This the Internet troll things is bad. I mean, I really think that firefighters need to get a grip on it. I mean, you're not the coolest. You're not the baddest. I'm not the perfectest. Uh -oh. I mean, I really think the internet trolling, to me, it got really bad when I very first started. And yeah. now it's almost like I encourage it. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. I, you know, yeah. like I, there's two types of bad comments uh, or two types of reactions for me. If you comment something that is negative, but it has a bit of validity to it, I'll right. let it ride. Right. Like go for it because if it, it, it's going to work itself out, you know, right. people are going to comment. But if you post something that's just grossly ridiculous, like I had this guy making anti-gay comments or anti. Not acceptable. No, like that's not, that's not how this goes. Like that's not this type of page. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll never let that stuff happen because it's just not, I, I, I message everybody, anyone who messages me, I'm the one really? writing you back. Yeah. Get I, out of here. Yeah, absolutely. 100% of the time I always message people back. I've only not messaged back one person because he, I said it was recently. He goes, Hey, uh, he goes, uh, I, I said, what videos do you want me to make? He goes, I want you to make more anti-cop videos. I hate those. Dicks. I'm like, what? <laughs> no. They're the best content. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're amazing. They're amazing. And I respect cops so right. much. It's like, you can't, any people say they hate cops. There's normally some, uh, yeah, right, right, right. Issues I had, going. It's so funny that, that, that I, I, I see myself through your lens sometimes. And last night we got punched out on a car crash and our police officers aren't allowed to run lights and sirens to car crash. So we pull out in my Quint and I'm cranking it up, man. I lo I, yeah. The louder, the better, as far as I'm concerned, you want to oh, hear yeah. me coming. And there took the cops go take off. I'm like, uh Oh, why they're going to block everything. As soon as we get there, the coptological indicators are going to have us. So we cannot get our tools in it. And as soon as we pulled up, I'm like, this is a fire department Chronicles moment. Cause I had to take my truck and weave through the cop cars. And I'm like, fellas, could you at least left us one lane of the three and they just start smiling. <laughs> and they're the best on structure fires. The oh, they always block it. You're like, and I can't do anything. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you guys helping me out. <laughs> I work at, Go ahead. Uh, I work in a pretty high crime area. So our cops and I are constantly right. Like, we are constantly with each other. There's something going on, that kind of thing. So um and they most of them watch my videos, so it's always funny, especially when I come out with a cop one. They always <laughs> roll up on Steve and like, ah, real nice video, Jason. Real like like the one that I did with the cop, uh, the uh, career day. That right. Oh, uh, that was hilarious. And the mirror one was phenomenal. I don't know who, <laughs> whose gear you bought. I mean, that was phenomenal. I mean, I, I really see an evolution of your content coming. I mean, it's been consistently positive, but you've gotten pretty good with the camera. I Thanks. Mean, <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I, I have this editing program. I've messed with it. We have some uh, fire department coffee. Uh, I'm the vice president of fire department coffee, and we uh, we got some cool stuff coming up. We're pretty stoked. Uh, I, I, I tell you, it's it's almost like, I mean, it's it's neat to see the creators of content like you. Where do you see this stuff going as you progress? I mean, you've got to have a vision for it by now. I mean, I know that you probably didn't think that it would go viral and be this big, but dude, I'm telling you, you're on your way to a television show. I'm telling you, mark my words right now on Jump Seat Radio, you will, <laughs> you will be on television soon. <laughs> I, I, I my, my vision is just to constantly create good, positive stuff for people to be able to look at. And that's, and that's it, man. I just, I never, I never want to become jaded. I never, you know, I, to this day, I, I, if, if I, uh, I, uh, two days ago, guy, this is actually really funny. So uh, we're on a car accident scene and we're all, we're waiting. The uh, uh, everyone's packaged up. They're leaving. I'm sitting there with the engine. We're just waiting for like cops to clear up everything. And we see this dude running across three lanes of traffic. We're like, what is going on? 
he runs over. He's like, "Dude, it's you! It's you! You're the guy!" So I, we end up taking a picture on a car accident scene. And, then, and he uh, t- he wrote me. He's like, "Hey, man, do you want to meet up for a beer?" I'm like, "Absolutely, man! I will right. meet up with anybody because I'm a firefighter. You know, right. I'm, I'm a firefighter today. I'll always be a firefighter, and that's that's the way people should be." Uh, that's the way everyone should be if they ever become an influencer. Like you should always remember that anyone who supports you, you should be willing to do it. I will say this though: if you ask me to meet up, I'm gonna check your Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's just you and twelve kittens in a dark room, we're not meeting up. <laughs> I don't want to be somebody's skin. <laughs> I, I think that's that's part of the thing that I'm sure that draws people to you, just like it uh, that I did. I mean, it's like with the, with. With with the internet trolls, oh, smoothboard nozzles, this and that. I'm like, listen, we don't always have the answer. And I tell you, I, I know what the feeling was. First time someone wanted a selfie with me, I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> the fat kid with the big mouth from Appalachia, really? You want to, okay. Yeah. But it's like, I think it's a responsibility of people that, that get quote unquote, some sort of recognition. Now I don't really call it fame. I mean, it's, you, you're an influence. I like the word influencer because I mean, I think that's what fuels the podcast. That's what fuels my teaching is when we get those people. So, I mean, I'm sure that you'd like to keep encouraging people to reach out to fire department chronicles I, all day. Well, I mean, anytime, I don't care. I'll talk to you. When I go to uh, shows or um, like at the IC, I'll be up there. Um, right, right. Anytime I'm at that, I want to talk to people. I mean, I can't, t- it's always the same thing. I walk by somebody and they go like this, <laughs> and then they turn back around, and they just like, I'm like, dude, what's up? And we talk, and BS, and I don't care, man. It's, it's, I, I just, I, I encourage, you know, respect, positivity, love, like all that, man. That's, that's, it should be like that, dude. We should all, we're all firemen. We're all doing the same job. That's why anyone who's like, Oh, volunteers suck. I'm like, <laughs> you're an idiot. The, <laughs> that guy was a mechanic all day and then got off and then went into a fire. Like, let's maybe let's maybe he's respect. better than we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what really stood out about. I don't know if you know or not, but we ran into each other at FDIC. I know you had a swarm of people around you. I'm like, dude, is the fire department wrong? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hopefully this year at FDSC, I'm bringing my camera back out. And, and I like really, I mean, I, there's so much good that we do. And it's not always saving babies and hanging with the ladies, whoever that guy is. I got to find it. That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, he's actually, uh, yeah, he's really funny. Yeah, he's super, super, <laughs> but awesome. I mean, we've got to keep that positive content going because I really think that our mental health issue can not I don't know if be solved, but maybe we can bump it up a little bit. Yes. No. And, and uh, mental health is a big thing for me. Um, we uh, I, I tell people this all the time, and they don't they don't understand. They're like, oh, twenty four on four day off, and I'm like, yes. Listen, our schedule best in the world. No, nice. like uh, best in the world. I will never say that. But you and your wife get in a fight before you go on your twenty four. Being away for twenty four hours, it's 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 torturous. Cause right. You can't go anywhere or you know when you get into a very toxic environment where talking is not encouraged because you know we're men and and men don't talk that is that's that that on a keynote speech that's why that was the first thing that I said to them like right you got to talk and I think I we're now we're moving out of the era where people didn't encourage talking you know it's just like uh we're moving out of that same era of the smoke eaters where you know SCBA if you were an SCBA you were cool right stuff like that which uh, we were watching uh backdraft the other day and uh, um, i love backdraft yeah you go we go and like <laughs> i love that movie there was just one part where i started laughing with bulls in there and everything's on fire because the only thing in my head is if that was reality he'd be like ah my face like, <laughs> i'm on fire <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, I have a backdrop is an amazing movie. Best movie we're ever, just in case anyone's excited about that. But um, yeah, no, I think, uh, yes, we're going to see it more and more and more often, you know, and humans, humans have a very distinct ability to take anything and run it from one extreme to the other. Oh, oh, amen. Yeah. Amen. And, it, and it's, uh oh, Siri talking to you? That's my Google. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so funny that especially, when we're around so many negative things, it's easy for us to find the negative. I mean, I, on the podcast, I came up with a new word. I want to be aggressively positive. And believe it or not, I actually teach, taught the class the other day. And I was like, 
Okay, maybe there's something to that. But yeah. I think that's a ball that you get rolling. Hopefully that I get rolling with the podcast and stuff because, listen, we see babies burning. We see – mine are grandmas. I don't know why I see grandma trauma. It messes with me. <laughs> I mean, babies, I don't know if it's because of my religion. I don't care what's called. But when I see grandmas jacked up, it really messes with me. When, yeah. that, when I saw a, a busload of grandmas ejected and mangled, I was like, oh, that's oh, not supposed know. to happen to grandma. Yeah. Yeah. But encouraging that, 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 that humility, that vulnerability and yes. that, that dialogue. I mean, I, I, man, dude, being in a station with you, I have to bring a box of tissues cause I'd be crying. Laughing. <laughs> and that's like, that's what I love about this man is uh, someone said one day, like, yo, we should just do a video of working with Jason. And I'm like, <laughs> ah, I'll do it. Like, cause it's, just, it's, it's all day. It's nonstop. Like I have fun with people. Uh, yesterday, I dropped somebody off in the hospital, and I grabbed a pillow and started a pillow fight with all the nurses. <laughs> like, I had a swing captain yesterday, and we got – I don't know that my jump seat rider was getting so mad at me because we, we kept running calls or the box lines. We put, we put our fire pants. I'm like, man, I like having my fire pants on. <laughs> <laughs> so I say, hey, Cap, what do you have on your legs right now? Hey, Ryan, I have my fire pants on. <laughs> That's awesome, man. You got to like, I got to make that one. I got to, I got to yeah. send that into national, whatever graphics it is now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, uh, no, I think that's, it's it, dude, we got to have fun. You have to have fun. Like if you're a salty person, right. Well, why? I mean, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> like for what? Like, uh, I'm mad. All right, whatever. I mean, we all have our days. Don't get me wrong. I'm oh, I'm, right. I'm depressed, you know, and stuff and you and your brothers try to pick you up and it's good, man. But just don't, just don't be that dude. Don't no. be that dude, you know? All right, Jason, I try to keep these about 30 minutes because most of my listeners say 30 minutes is that sweet spot. I want to ask you real quick, how in the world did you find Fire Department Coffee? And what's that about? Because I kind of like their mission. I appreciate it, man. Uh, we, uh, about uh, a year and a half ago, Luke Schneider, the uh, owner, um, <clears throat> he called or he messaged me because I put a thing up about another coffee company saying it was the only thing that was going to stop us from killing each other during the hurricane <laughs> that hit us. Uh, There's 18 of us in a station. <laughs> like, it was 18 be, in a station? Uh, yeah, actually 20, it was 20, 20 of us with police with additional police officers. And wow. Yeah, it was bad. Um, so he contacted me and he's like, hey, I'd love to do some work together. And I was like, all right, I said, send me your coffee first. Let me try it. And I, I tried it. It was amazing. Nice. Yeah, uh, like – very, very good, high quality coffee. Taste the stronger you made it, the better it tastes, kind of thing, which is the opposite of most coffees. Um, <laughs> for real. Uh, but we started working together and I, and we melded very well. Um, I we both have the same belief systems when it comes to companies. The first mission should be giving back to the community, and then profits come from there. Right. And that's what we decided on. So um, we founded the Fire Department Coffee Foundation. Um, 10% of, of all of our proceeds go back to, uh, the fire department coffee foundation. So nice. we get 10% of all proceeds go back. Um, and we find firefighters and first responders that are sick or injured. Uh, we bought a guy a truck, uh, last year. Get out of here. Yeah. We, uh, this year we paid a guy's rent and hit and a couple other things for him. Um, our, our goal, our goal is to eventually, you know, have a million dollars a year to play with, you know? And I mean, and literally I, I, I very much dislike charities because <laughs> right. most of the time you're like, here's a hundred dollars. And they're like, okay, well, 90 for me, 10 for the, right. other, you know, but for us, we want to make sure there are obviously there's always costs running a foundation, but sure. because, because we are both everyone that works or I'm a full-time firefighter. So is Luke. And then we have a veteran um, retired captain that works for us as well. Um, and, but yeah, the mission with fire department coffee is to support our own. That's why we give, um, Firefighters, uh, it's five ninety nine a pound with free shipping, um, and uh, which nice. is just nice high quality coffee. Yeah, man, <laughs> it is nice. Hold on, brand deal. <laughs> nice. I chose my Tigger cup just for you. I was hoping you put <laughs> some kind of order Tigger stuff there, man. I think I, think I could. I chose. <laughs> <laughs> all right jace thank you for what you give back to the police ems fire for the people where can people find you and are you going to be out on the road i know that you're you're i see your travels every now and then yeah uh i'll be in georgia i'll be in uh god february we're filming this one but march i'll be in shreveport louisiana uh filming uh we're making a real fire truck so that's what? Be, yeah like a real 
Really? Fire truck. <laughs> yeah, you'll see. It's going to be fun. <laughs> um, April, April, I'll be at DIC for a week, and then I, um, uh, and then I'll be in Boston for the Heroes Cup. It's a firefighter um, hockey tournament. Oh, yeah. So the guys like hockey. Uh, eh, I mean, not really. We don't have a lot of ice, so but <laughs> I'm the uh, the MC up there, so I'll be there. Really? MC. Yeah, I'm MC in the whole thing. It's huge, bunch of people. Uh, I think there's a hundred uh, different uh, hockey teams coming together. 120 different hockey teams. Wow! Together. From everywhere, like literally Ireland. I mean, everywhere that you can think of, they're all there. It's it's really you better really start cool. working on your wicked Boston. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, absolutely man but yeah we're on instagram facebook uh uh youtube and um hopefully a tv show here soon like you said dude you need somebody needs to find you for television <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm telling you. i mean i know that you got a face for radio but you got a personality for television <laughs> ain't, ain't that the truth <laughs> <laughs> well thanks jason for once again everything that you do dude i mean a huge fan i'm fanboying out i fanboyed at fdic um I'll have my podcast stuff and cameras at FDIC. If we don't find you in the fire department coffee booth, hopefully we will, we'll find you around. And, um, thanks Absolutely. for doing what you do with the fire service, man. I appreciate the support, brother. Thank you so much, man.